This is the Mezgeria, uh, also known as Olam Avram Ben Moshe, who is the managing director of the winery from 1987 to 2002. Uh, it used to be the Mezgeria, which is the metal workshop. It's obviously where they made the tanks, or shaped the tanks, um, and maintained them. But if we look in now, this room was uh, painted in about 1990 um, to celebrate the history uh, of uh, Richard Lossian and of the winery. I would like to draw your attention to the beautiful roof, the wooden roof, which uh, unfortunately was painted, but um, uh, the, the actual wood and the artwork was, uh, uh, was similar to all the, all the winery's uh, buildings. We see a few things that are important. This is the rabbi of the winery. We're one of the few food uh, companies in Israel which has a resident rabbi on site. Uh, this is the uh, Rav Yanofsky, Rabbi Yanofsky. Uh, he and his son consecutively were the rabbis of the winery. This is the legendary winemaker Freddy Stiller, who made the uh, 1976 Cabernet Sauvignon and also made uh, brandies that won uh, the prize for breast brandy in the world. Um, the main center, the hub of Rishon Zion, and everyone going out on the streets the night that the State of Israel was formed. Uh, on the right, you see the water tower, which is Rothschild's first ever investment here, still exists. You can see it just the other side of the winery. Um, and this was the first investment to provide water for the new farming villages of Rishon. Uh, here, this taxi. Uh, was the only vehicle which used to go from Jaffa to Rishon. Um, so uh, this is uh, pictured. And at the top you see all the, uh, uh, the people on the town council. Uh, they don't look very happy, but this was on the, from, a photo, from a photograph of the night the state was founded. Here you see uh, a nice picture. This is Abraham ben Moshe, who uh, after, this, uh, after him this room is named. And Pessy Gruper, Pessy Gruper was an Israeli politician. He was Minister of Agriculture. He was also chairman of the Carmel, Carmel Wine Growers Cooperative, or in French, Society Cooperative Vidurant de Grand Cave, uh, for something like 17 years. This is James Rothschild. He was the son of Baron Edmund. Uh, he uh, left uh, France, went to England, came uh, uh, to be an English politician, took over his father's interests in Palestine, as it was then called, and it was he who donated Rishon and Sion Cellars and Zikron Yaakov Cellars to Carmel Winery in 1957. He also uh, provided the money to build the Knesset, the Israel Parliament Building, and also started off a foundation called Yad Nadiv that supports Israel until today. This is the famous orchestra that used to play uh, uh, after Shabbat in the evenings, uh, after the Sabbath in the evenings, you used to walk around the streets playing music, it was famous. Uh, the mayor of uh, Rishon Sion for many years. And here you can see various faces of people tied up with the history of Rishon. David Ben Gurion, who worked here and then visited after many years. Heim Weizmann. Uh, this one is my favorite, this is Balfour the Foreign Secretary of England who had signed the Balfour Declaration. Unfortunately, the photograph they had of him is with his hat in front of his face, and so someone wrote the word Balfour in Hebrew with an arrow, so we knew who it was. So that's quite nice. Now, when Herzl visited Israel in 1898, he was taken to Rishon Tzil Sellers. This was the, um, the example of the Zionist dream come true. And here he is at the entrance to Mikveh Yisrael, meeting the Kaiser. This is the harvest. You can see the baskets come in, very similar to today. Small baskets, very similar to today. Some things about winemaking haven't changed in 5,000 years. These are Baron Red with the Rothschilds, uh, Pekidim, administrators, managers. They ran the business, the language was French, uh, and we have the old uh, accounts books in French from the time.
This is the middle of every show of film. This is the promenade of every show of film. And you see here the winery from the sky. It was a massive winery. This was a, a small uh, person that used to sell newspapers. People remember him. He used to be uh, in Rishon with his uh, cart, which he sold uh, newspapers. And even he is uh, celebrated in this uh, room. This was the painter. His name was Schwartz. Uh, he painted it and uh, very modestly he decided to put himself in the painting. Olam Avram Ben Moshe.